What's up guys, in today's video, I'm gonna be doing something a bit different than usual. I recently had the pleasure of visiting a property that's hosted by a company called Tiny Escapes, and it's a tiny home that was up north of Toronto. It was a really cool experience because this tiny home is located out kind of separated out from any neighbors. It's kind of on its own, secluded in nature. And right beside it, it had this kind of Scandinavian bath setup. And I absolutely love the whole hot and cold cycle. I do it as much as I possibly can. And so this was really cool. I saw one of their ads on Instagram, reach out to them and organize a trip up there. And so basically what it has is this tiny home that's really cool. I'm gonna give you a tour inside of it. I'm gonna show you all the different things that they thought of that I thought was really good. All the things I loved about the property and then right beside it it had a separate uh, building that was a sauna and then off the deck of the sauna sunk into it was a hot tub and a cold plunge I really really loved it I thought it was a really cool experience and so I want to share it with you guys and share just some tips that I have from uh, going through and seeing the property how well it was set up all the little things that they thought of so that hopefully it can help you to perform better and see how in my opinion someone that did a really really great job hosting a place um, has it set up so without further ado let's jump right into it all right so this i think is just a really good example of a property that they've really paid attention to the small kind of finer details and i'll show you what i mean by that so i think this actually is a fire pit in here which is pretty cool it looks like it's a potentially a propane fire pit i haven't had a chance to explore that part yet um, and then here you've got this beautiful porch which we won't be using too much given that it's winter right now but um, you've got your barbecue here and then walk in and it's got um, a nice yard over here. So especially in the summertime, like that would be great for just kind of hanging out outside, doing some activities. Um, and then you've got the smart lock and this is a tiny house. So it's one of those things where it's just been uh, really, really well thought out. Um, every single bit of it has just been super, super well thought out um, right throughout. So you can see when you first walk in, um, one thing that you immediately notice is the heated floors in here. It's nice and warm. And there's a few things I already love in this space. So one is that the bathroom is just tucked in right here. Um, and it's a really nice little bathroom in here. Uh, you can see it's got beautiful shower, nice stone floor. Um, and yeah, everything's just like, it's super small, but you have everything that you need in here. And they've taken care of like a few different little details. So this place I'm going to show you guys has a hot tub, um, a sauna and a cold plunge. So really cool. And they've got, um, they've got like a lot of moisturizer here because obviously doing that is going to dehydrate you. So I like that they've thought of that, uh, and included that small detail. And then here you can see they've got just amazing taste in books. They've already got that one. So that's awesome. You know, that these hosts are, uh, thinking about everything they need to do to make this place really, um, uh, just as good as it can possibly be. Uh, let's see if we can turn some more lights on here. So uh, you've got uh, a couple a couple board games in there. You've got a couple more board games up here. So plenty of stuff to do. Um, let's see what's up here. Just some bags. And then, um, yeah, so in, in here in this space, they've just really used the space exceptionally well. You can see this couch is the literal perfect size for this area here. Um, and then you've got your TV wall mounted. So it's nice and flush not taking up a ton of room. And then in here, you've got this amazing little welcome basket with lots of nice little goodies. Um, and then you've got a fridge, plenty of space. You've got your, your stove top, which is a nice small stove top, but again, just exactly as much as you need. Um, they've got the Keurig there. They've got everything you need to just be really comfortable. And it's also just so beautiful. Look, like it's, you know, you can see right out um, and you can see out to this area, to the forest, just a beautiful, beautiful view. And this is honestly one of my favorite touches of the whole property is that you can see, I'm gonna show you guys around, but there's a sauna and then there's a hot tub and cold plunge over here. We're gonna go take a walk over there. But right off the bat, you've got the control panel for the sauna right here in the house. So when you wake up in the morning, wanna go out to the sauna, you can just do it right here. You don't have to like put shoes on, go out in the cold, go walk over there and turn on to heat it up. You can just heat it up right here from the house. I think that is brilliant. I've never seen that before, uh, but I think that's just so, so smart. So I love that they did that. And then coming up, um, before we go upstairs, actually you can see like they've used the space really well. They've got a nice floating shelf up there. They've got um, your smart thermostat, all the smart stuff I really love. Um, they've got 
uh, a Bluetooth that hooks up to the speakers here. So you can hook up to speakers all throughout the, uh, throughout the home. They've got the smart lock. So everything's just really easy. Checking in was super simple with the smart lock. Um, and then they know what to prioritize. They've got a king bed up here, which I was really surprised by. I thought it was going to be a queen, uh, but I ended up being a king. So really hy hyped about that. Really excited that they managed to fit a king bed up here. And it's honestly like it fits really nicely. You're not super cramped for space. Um, yeah, really got everything you need and you've got windows everywhere. So it's just going to be really beautiful. Um, I know that from uh, from staying here at, at, at properties like this, buildings like this um, in the uh, in the summertime that it gets really hot up here because obviously the hot air rises. So I like that they also have an AC unit right here. Um, and it's just a, a good spot for it because you really do need to cool down this upper part of a building that's shaped like this. I've stayed at another property, not this one, but a similar shaped one in the summertime. And it was crazy hot in the, uh, in the uh, upstairs area, especially because you've got all this exposure from the windows and you don't have blinds to cover them up. So tons of natural uh, light coming in, but that, that means that tons of heat is coming in as well. So that's the inside. Another small detail that I really like is that you've got some additional counter space here for setting things down because they've got this nice solid uh, surface that you can also just roll right up um, and get over the sink. So I really like that. And then a uh, little bit of artwork here. Let's go take a look outside as well. Let me just throw my shoes on. Guys, just want to take a quick break to say that for those of you watching who want to build cash flow and long-term wealth by purchasing Airbnbs and short-term rental properties, there's a link in the description down below for a free training that will walk you through my exact strategy for investing successfully in Airbnbs. The training walks through the three most important things that you need to know if you want to successfully buy your first or next short-term rental property. And again, the link is in the description down below for you to sign up completely free. When you sign up for the training, we're also gonna send you our ROI analysis tool completely free so that you can analyze properties the right way and find properties that'll generate amazing returns. Again, the link to sign up is in the description down below and both the training and the ROI analysis tool are completely free. Okay, so here we are outside and now we've got a nice little seating area here. Um, I think these are just gonna be some chairs, yeah, with some nice uh, cushions on them. They've covered them up uh, for the snowfall. And then, yeah, just really beautiful. And so again, like just amazing details like this. You've got your outdoor shower right here. So before going uh, going into the hot tub and, and the cold plunge, you can shower off, get all the oils off of your body. So that's gonna keep them a lot more, you know, nicely maintained. It's gonna be a lot easier to keep them clean that way. And then here you can just shower off, um, you know, rinse off before going inside. I love that. Um, it's also nice for like a kind of a, a cold shower as well, if you want to do that. So, and it's just really beautiful too. Like, look at this, it's black. It matches the building so nicely as well. Like everything's just so, so well thought out here. Um, I'm, I'm in love. Like, I really, really like this property. And then you can see like this pathway with all these nice little stones. So that when you're barefoot, it's going to feel nice on your feet as you're walking. Um, you're not, you know, walking across dirt or walking across anything hard, things like that. And you can see it, it even looks like it must just be heated under here as well. I, I would imagine because you can see that it's not getting a bunch of snow built up here. Now let's discover together here what this is. I assume this is just another seating area. Yeah. Just more seating in there. There's nice tables out there. So it's just really beautiful. So you can sit out, um, and just enjoy, right. And just enjoy this view. And then coming back here, there's a view of the house from out here. Again, just stunning, really, really beautiful place. And then what I love is that there's this little building that matches it that they use for the sauna. So I really like that. Um, coming up here, let's take a look. What have we got? So in there, it looks like it's just storage. This is one thing that I probably would have done a bit differently is probably not done a glass door on here because in here it's just a bit messy. It's kind of storage. I wouldn't have, I would have put maybe frosted the glass there, but that's a small thing. I'm just being nitpicky, honestly, at this point. Um, and then you've got in here what I really like, whew, nice and toasty in here. Um, yeah, you've got a couple different oils. Eucalyptus is my favorite, so I'm going to be using that. Um, so that's really, really nice, really cool in here. You've got... Not sure exactly what all is going on here, but it's really just a sauna. It's nice and beautiful. It smells like cedar. It's really nice, nice and clean in here. They've kept it nice and clean. 
And then I really like that they pointed it this way out into the forest. So you've got this beautiful view to look out over. And then if we get back out of here, you can see again, they did not spare any, any detail here with this property. You can see like they didn't just have a standard hot tub and a standard cold plunge. Um, they've got a matching set with these beautiful, beautiful covers. So you can see, there it is. And you just take the cover off. We'll get the cover taken off, but even the covers are just so aesthetic. Um, I really, really like this, that they just roll up like this. And then there you go. You got your cold plunge, you've got your hot tub. Um, you've got, there you go. There's your controls for the hot tub just built right in. Let's turn this up so we can get it going nice and warm for when we pop in there. I'm not sure how to do that, but I'll figure that out later. And then again, the cold plunge, the hot tub, they both have these beautiful views out into the forest. So I'm a huge fan. And then you've got some nice chairs to sit out here. You've got some, looks like some salts. Yeah, beautiful. The other thing that's really nice, um, they've got, looks like in the summertime, they have some complimentary yoga mats. So you can do yoga out here in the morning. That's really nice. And they've got these nice little cards everywhere as well that just explain what to do, how to use the space, you know, explain the whole thermal cycle of going hot then cold, then relaxing. Um, yeah, I love it. I love it. Let me know what you guys think. All right, so that's a wrap. That's my thoughts on this property. I wanna know yours as well. Let me know in the comment section down below. And if you like this video, if you enjoy these property tour type videos, then let me know uh, in the comments and let me know by hitting the like button on this video. The more people that like this video, the more it's gonna tell me that you guys like this type of content. And also the more it's gonna help me out with growing this channel and growing these videos, getting them in front of more people. So I really, really appreciate anyone who takes a just half second to hit that like button. And last but not least, if you, have not yet subscribed here, which I know a bunch of you guys watching this video have not subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button to stay updated. We post two new videos every single week on this channel. So make sure you stay updated by hitting the subscribe button. With all that said, thanks for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.